Hi friends, here we are again, a new antiphonin is due for Kanawa, our beloved catamaran. Thousand pinholes, we found out we have worm skin. We hire a profi, send and money runs through our fingers. This year we want to do something different and better. To make a long story short, we decided to apply copper coat to our lagoon free 80 holes. Was it an easy decision? No! I think we went through every single source available. Every video was watched, every article was read. We saw a lot of positive reports and some really catastrophic. I think everybody who is interested in copper code found the YouTube episodes from Selling Britican really worth checking out. You find a link in description below. After all the researching included silicon based product, we decided for us that copper code is still the best option for liveaboard board. We found out that a successful copper code treatment hands on two important things the right products used for preparation and preparation themselves. So we started the process. First, sandblasting down the old layers of antifoli. And we had a lot. We hired a team of local specialists for the sandblasting job. They made a test shot to find out if the state of old antiphonin and the underlying J-code is good for the process. They also checked for a good grain size of the used sand. Fortunately, they found out that the hulls and the J-coat was in a really good state and showed absolutely no signs of osmosis. They worked really hard in a Spanish mid-June sun. And believe me, you don't want to do this job by yourself. It was our first weekend on a shipyard and we already adapted our cooking to Marquita style. After sandblasting, some of the old antifoin was still on the J-code, and our workers decide to sand it down. Under and around the boat, we felt a little bit like on a beach. In between, we had enough time for some necessary maintenance jobs. The hull looked good. Of course, the process opened a lot of small bubbles in a jacket. And you find here and there some small scars from Kano's lives before. The next exciting step is to apply two layers of solvent-free Campy High Protect Epoxy Primer. The whole project was planned to take place in April. But we all know what happened in March 
2020. And that is the reason why we are now in June and day temperatures are already high. So we start with help of some really good friends in early morning. Usually you have to mix thinner to the epoxy to get a smooth surface. But plan was to apply the copper coat direct next morning, as long as the epoxy primer is still chemically open. But it's not 100% clear that the thinner has gassed out till then, so no thinner allowed. In the evening, okay. with the right light, we found out that epoxy has formed a nice orange skin surface. <laughs> Looks not too bad. But now we had a decision to make. If we apply the copper coat next morning, we will find the orange skin also in the copper coat. That would make the activation of copper coat <laughs> a hell of a job and we would send away a lot of uh, valuable copper. So the decision was made to send away the orange skin now uh, and prepare a smooth surface for copper coat. And we can tell you the Hempy High Protect forms a really hard surface. Yeah, unexpected and big job. What helps? Of course some party with friends. We had a lot of fun in the shipyard with local dishes. For example, fresh fried sardinas direct from a fisherman. And cold beer. Helps as well. Maybe a little bit special, but one of our friends applied copper coat with a uh, aerospace gun and had good success. So, instead of rolling of copper coat in a high June temperature, we made the test run with different spray guns and it looked with some training really, really good. What is that shot? the shipyard we ran into someone who claimed to be a specialist in coating and he told he has some experience with copper coat so we hired him to do a help first attempt was a little bit chaotic because he tried to finish all layer in one because of the high weight of the copper, it would run down immediately. So, 
we had to stand behind his shoulder and coach him through the process. As soon as he was aware to spray on a thin layer, his spray technique was really good, and we have been pleased with the result. The job is really hard and tiring because of the high weight of the spray gun with copper coat inside. The second hull was only for us. Spraying the copper coat works really good. The only things we had to do was to clean the gun after every batch completely. Tiny amounts of copper powder are building up in the channels of the spray gun. Take it totally apart and clean everything with water as long as the copper coat is liquid. We used 16 liters of copper coat. <laughs> we know how the gun looks inside. When it was time to activate the copper coat, that means again sanding. The first layer of copper particles has to be exposed to the elements. On the flat surfaces, it is quite easy with orbital sander. By the way, we burn one sander on a job. A lot of sanding. All the small areas around the key has to be done by hand. You cannot work with machine there. The chance to send through the layer of copper coat would be too high. So, again a lot of handwork. After all the work, stretched nerves, parties, we finally saw the so much anticipated end of the project. The big travel lift came and bring Kanoa into her element, the water. We are happy and we are excited to see how the copper coat will perform in real life. As a result, we spent much more days on the heart and we worked a lot more than planned. We gained a few grey hair and our nerves will have been sometimes stretched to the maximum. On the positive side, Kano has a very smooth belly now, and the first real life test with sails show we gain approximately one knot of speed, and combined with our new sails, the upwind power is a lot better. We feel we are gliding now like a hot knife through the water. While researching, we narrowed our options down to three different places. First, a trusted professional shipyard. They would do all the job and we can lean back and enjoy cold drinks. Second, the local copper coat distributor. 
he also would do all the job. And third, the small fisherman marina we finally have chosen. The conventional antifolin with ablative paint costs around about 1,500 euro for canola every year. The copper coat job was 5,400 euro and it should last 10 years. If copper coat works, for us as expected and advertised, we will be very happy liverboards. Stay tuned for update how copper coat works and don't forget like and subscribe. And if you like what we do, you can buy us a coffee.